The Globe that drops in New York's Times Square to announce the new year is nothing compared with shows businesses stage to announce new products or new ad campaigns. Industrial shows have all the razzmatazz of Broadway shows and sometimes budgets that are just as big. Usually the public isn't invited to these shows, but we've been able to get you the best seats in the house. It's time for a change. Time to renew Dr. Pepper packaging. Now, come into view. Dr. Pepper's new ad campaign was on the launch pad and takeover rumors were in the air when the soda pop company held its annual meeting with bottlers. But instead of just a pep talk from the podium, executives also shared the stage with singers, dancers, and magicians. We tried not to bore you with statistics. What we're talking about here is a Dr. Pepper attitude. To convey that attitude, Dr. Pepper executives spent more than half a million dollars in a little over three hours. What they got for their money was one of the most elaborate industrial shows in years. Lavish live entertainment starring the biggest names in business is making a comeback in tune with the turnaround in the economy. Our companies are starting to experience that the economy is changing and they're saying, okay, now we've got to really motivate the sales force to beat our competition and get in there first. Okay, you guys, let's <laughs> knock it out of the you got to get out of the and sell. It's a natural for business to use showbiz as a way to rev up a sales force or persuade distributors to stock more of a brand because nothing else compels attention like live theater. Juggling all of these brands in their various sizes and packages can be uh, very difficult for everyone concerned, especially the bottler. These shows can cost as much as $3 million, but companies say they pay off. When Piper Aircraft introduced a new plane, Emerson Electric a new power saw, and Frito-Lay a new snack food, they used industrial shows. And afterwards, the audiences of distributors and dealers ordered more new product than ever before. The real magicians behind all these shows are two Dallas-based production companies, Creative Communications Group and TM Productions. Almost all manufacturers in trouble. They need to get this stuff across to their people. They need to increase sales. I mean, beer sales are down. Soft drink sales are down. So what the, now they have a bigger problem and, and, a, and a more imperative reason for getting, for getting these things across. So that's better for us. And Merriman's business has been very good indeed. This Juilliard-trained musician is the creative engine driving the world's biggest music services business, composing industrial shows, creating jingles for radio and TV, programming the music piped aboard 40 airlines, even orchestrating Las Vegas reviews. I have techniques that I use for composing, as, as, any, uh, as any artist does. Uh, I turn it on and off like a faucet. To me, it's like an, any other job. Today, I have to write a song. So I will sit down and write a song. Well, it's not that easy. The making of an industrial show mixes music, lasers, and lights with bit parts for top management, all scripted together to push a corporate goal. In Dr. Pepper's case, to convince bottlers to increase Dr. Pepper's share of the market. Every lyric, every dance step, every musical note, every slide, every graphic on stage, the set design, has got to be a platform for helping us get to our objective and helping us reach the objective of that, uh, of that company. The creative group fills 25,000 square feet with state-of-the-art editing rooms, studios, and computers. We can sing and we can dance, but, the, but we can't very well sing about, um, you know, that the percentages in a certain soft drink have gone up 20%. It's best showing on a chart. And so those are often used during the corporate speeches. 14 years ago, Pam Rost and Jim Westbury started the creative group. Today, they find themselves riding a new wave of interest in industrial shows to riches. Business is great. We had a record year last year. And not just for the creative group. Each year, over a billion dollars is spent on these productions, and probably much more will be in the future. It's really only a matter of time before financial institutions and public corporations use industrial shows to report to shareholders and investors and maybe the press. <laughs>